Thank you, thank you, Byron. Thank you, thank you, Alaska, for let, letting us do what we do. Um, first, let me introduce my uh, my dorm roommate, uh, our first lady uh, uh, Donna Walker. <clears throat> I got here a few days early so I could pick out which bed I wanted in the, in, in the room and not, so. Uh, it, it has been an honor to be a part of this, um, of this process. It's, it's a dream we had uh, months ago. We said, what if we had a conversation? What if we had it in Fairbank? Would anybody come? You know, would, would, would it, could it happen? And it happened in spades. It was awesome what, what, what had taken place this, this, uh, this weekend. One of the luxuries that I had and Byron had is we were able to float between the different groups and go in and listen for a while and, 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 then, and then the hardest part was to pull ourselves away and go to a different group because we just get sort of involved in the discussion that was going on is really, is really tough. Uh, what I enjoyed, a couple of things in, in, in going into the different groups, was one of the, some of the favorite things I heard was, my favorite one was probably when someone would say, well, I can't believe I'm agree agreeing with such and such. And there was a fair amount of that. And that was great. Uh, that was great. That was that discussion, that dialogue. It got a little bit, little bit, you know, a little bit intense occasionally, and that was good. At first, there were a little bit of sandbags going around trying to protect one particular turf. And after all, the sandbags went away. Uh, and, and some felt that they had red dots on them, and they discovered everybody had red dots on them. So that wasn't, that wasn't, uh, that wasn't the issue. It's the conversation. And Jill Glenop is right. We need to have a conversation that with those that may not agree with us. And that's what we've done is we've, we've brought together a, 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 you know, several hundred Alaskans that might not all agree with each other, but we had an incredible conversation as a result of that. And Byron is right, this, this is the start of the conversation. It does not end here. This is actually, when we're done here, it actually begins the conversation. You, you've allowed that to happen. You know, our challenge is how do we reach out to, to the rest of Alaskans? You've helped us answer that question. I enjoyed specifically when, when the young people in, our, in the various groups would speak, because everybody would really listen differently. Um, Bridget, uh, Devin, Lindsay, and, and others, they would listen carefully. Sometimes they, would, they were asked them to draw out specifically, what do you feel? Because this is, this is your future we're talking about. And so it was great to have that, that level of, of dialogue, to have the incredible history. To stand on a podium in front of you know, Jack Hoghill, Vic Fisher, this is, this is, this is Alaska. I don't think that there's a governor in the nation can do what we're doing because of, of uh, <laughs> we have an incredible constitution to draw upon, and that's what we're doing. Thank you very much for, for, for the hard work here 60 years ago uh, to do that. Um, we need to, we, some things we did learn, we need to tighten our budget. We need to tighten our, spend, our spending, continue to look for ways that we can, we can tighten that. I mean, most groups wouldn't even discuss, start the discussion until there was a, a commitment that we continue to look at that. And we will do that. We heard you loud and clear, and we will, we will continue. That will be an ongoing, ongoing process. Um, it, is, it, is, it is an opportunity for Alaska. You know, the deficit that we're in is real. We can no longer continue to burn the roof rafters to keep warm. At some point, we need, we need to address and solve the problem. And that's what this is about. Is there one single lever you pull? No. I think the process is almost as important as the result. Because if you start off the wrong process, regardless of what options you come out with, they're not going to be well received. This is a tough conversation. You know, some advise me not to use the T word. I've used the T word. There's actually two T words. One is the truth. We're going to tell the truth. And the other is taxes. Or there's going to be taxes. We're going to have to do something. You know, it, it, it helps that, uh, that many of us were born in the territory of, of Alaska back when we, when we had those things. Uh, we need to have that discussion, a broad-based discussion. And I think we need to embrace and celebrate that we can, we can do this. We don't point to Washington on this. We don't point to one company or the, this company. We point to ourselves. We gather amongst ourselves. We're going to put together a team of, I believe, six 
uh, people, that those that want to have to continue the discussion, we're going to ask you to and invite us to your Chamber of Commerce, invite us to your Rotary meeting. Unless you want to do that yourself, we'd be happy to have you do that. We want to empower you, deputize you, if you will, to go out and continue this discussion in, in, the, in the circles that, that, you, uh, that you live in. And, that you, you, and if you want us to come but, uh, participate in that, we'd be happy to do that. We'd like you to be there at the same time. Uh, the example I used was, I think, uh, Tim Navar. In, in Kenai, the Chamber of Commerce, we'd be happy to have someone come down and, and have this, lead this discussion with you. We'd like you, we are so glad you were here from across the state. So let's continue the discussion. That's really the success of this, is we continue the, the dialogue, continue the discussion, you know, throughout across this great state. And, and that we will, we will do. We are, um, we are, we are a, a, a gathering of Alaskans like I've never participated in uh, before. And, and we thought that the transition process was something. Uh, this was really uh, 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 that plus uh, uh, again as much, just because this came with a, you know, you came to help us talk about a topic that uh, it was not the formation of administration, it's the formation of a solution. And, and because of what you have done here, we have, the, uh, we have the pieces, we have the roadmap of how we get from here to, to a solution. We will do it. It will not be tough. Uh, I think uh, Senator Halford was, was right. Uh, uh, it's not going to be an easy lift. I think that we have to figure out what goes first. My belief is, is that the, the, the broader the discussion, the broader the, the, uh, uh, the buy-in, the, the better chance that this is going to be successful. We're not afraid of, of, uh, uh, of, of doing this. Uh, Commissioner Hoffbeck said, this is only a crisis if we don't do anything. I say the crisis is over. Thank you.